Hey, are you trying to hit this thing further nowadays, just like everybody else, but your body isn't helping you at all and it's not allowing you to do that? I got three keys for you that's going to help you to get more speed in your golf swing. Even though you're a little bit older, you can still generate these things. Number one, you need a little bit more shoulder turn, back, back turn on your backswing. Number two, you've got to be able to use your legs. A lot of guys aren't using their legs when they want to try and swing harder. They use the upper body. And number three, you've got to be able to control your finish and have good balance on that side. So I'm going to show you those three tips right now. So let's address the first thing, and that's more shoulder turn. So if you want to swing it faster, you've got to kind of gear it up a little bit more in the backswing. And if you look on our YouTube channel, I have a ton of videos that are going to just show you just the thoracic spine of the shoulder turn or just the hip turn. But I know if you're like most of the clients or the people I've run into, you don't want to necessarily put in all the work to do that things. You want the quick tip. So I'm going to try and give that to you today. So as far as getting more turn on your backswing, you can get here and you can try and limit your lower body and try and turn here. But what that does is it usually causes you to stand up just because you have tightness in your arms and shoulders. So what I want you to try and do today is think about turning your hip more, but keeping the weight on the inside of your leg. So you're turning your hip more and you're turning your shoulders. That's going to give you more shoulder turn. So if I try and turn my shoulders, but I don't, I limit my lower body and then I try and turn my lower body a little bit more, you can see I can get more shoulder turn. So that's what we're going to work on here just to get that. I have two exercises that are going to help you with that. Number one, you just gonna need to get down on one knee. So we're going to get down on our, on our right knee. We're going to squeeze the glute on the right side. And then you're going to take your driver, put it over your, your, um, over your shoulders. And you're going to try and squeeze your glute. Don't move this hip. So you're going to turn as far as you can. Don't move that hip. Limit it, limit it, limit it as far as you can. And then once you've gotten to that certain point, now you can release it, allow the hip to move, and you can notice you're going to turn a lot farther. So we're going to do it on our right knee, squeezing the glute. Don't let the hip move at all. So you're really trying to hold this, trying to turn your shoulders. See how far you can get. And if, if you have trouble with your shoulders getting over, I don't recommend using your driver because you may bend it just a little bit. So if you have a dowel rod or something else or an, or an iron that's a little bit stiffer, you can use that. And then, so we're turning and then we're going to loosen it, allow that to move. Feel how that feels in your hip joint because that's where you're moving from. And then we're going to get more shoulder turn with that as well. So we're working on that thoracic, we're working on both. And I want you to do this on both knees. So you'll feel it on one where you're going to release it. On the other knee, you're actually going to restrict that lower body and this is going to turn. Watch this knee. Keep it straight ahead, turn as far as you can go, allow that to turn. You're getting a little bit more turn here. Keep this knee straight, and now we're going to go as far as you can, and then release that knee, kind of turn around that, those, that lower body, and try and balance and turn as far as you can. That's going to give you more thoracic rotation in that upper body. So that's how you get the shoulders to turn a little bit more. Let's look at the lower body next, and that's going to segue into the second part, and that's using your legs. So if you take, if you think, oh man, I got to get a bigger backswing, what usually happens is you come out of it, you get your, this leg's going to get too high, it's going to lock out, and then you're going to be stuck over on this side. And some people like that, some people may not, but this is a video of fitness exercise trying to show you how to use your body differently. So what we're going to do is, is we're gonna stay down on this leg. This leg has to stay slightly bent and keeping the weight on the inside because if you get your weight way out here, it's really easy to come back over the top and use your upper body. We wanna keep the weight on the inside of your thigh, inside of your knee, and down here on the inside of your foot. To do that, you have to have good internal hip rotation. So really work on, I've shown you a million times, this exercise, it's called stork turns, where you're just turning around that. That's a great exercise to feel that and get that active stretch in there for that right side. The other thing you could do is, is gently flare your toe out. That'll give you a little bit more turn here. So what we do is we get over here. Now it's loaded on this side, and then we can get to the next part, and that's using your lower body on the downswing instead of coming over the top or really aggressively hitting it with your upper body. All right, we got a little bit more turn on the backswing. Now let's work on using the lower body. So we're loaded on this right side. Remember, inside leg is, is pressure on the inside leg, inside foot. 
that makes it easier to use your lower body. But number one, you have to be able to use your lower body and maneuver your lower body. So my favorite exercise, hold on to your top of your driver, make sure you don't bend it too much with the grip end down, and then try not to move the driver at all. You're gonna turn your hips to the left. So we're gonna start here, and all you're gonna do is turn. When you turn, if you had a stick right here, this turn, your the left side's gonna get higher than the right. So I want you to feel that. So you're here, this stuff is not moving at all, and you're turning your lower body. So what you're gonna feel is this leg is gonna go closer to this leg. So we're going here to here. Now, the way to make that work on your downswing is when you're up here, you wanna get that same feeling and feel like your back is staying to the target for a split second longer. So you're here, all you're gonna do is let your back stay to the target while you make that same move. So you're here, and then lower body is moving, just like that. So you're working the inside of this leg, left side, you're turning just like that, holding on to that club, don't let your upper body move. You can see a lot of different videos that I've made on our YouTube channel as well that help you to get that lower body mobility. I, I suggest you checking out those as well, all right? We'll put the links below to those other videos. All right. Now, we got a bigger backswing. We're getting our lower body involved just a little bit more on that, on that good plane. The main thing you want to make sure is that your, your lower body doesn't go this way forward towards the ball. It goes this way towards the target. So what you want to feel like, this is my other favorite one. If I was a golf instructor, I'd use this one all the time as well. So my lower body, remember, it's going this way. It's going this way. So now I got my left hand on the club and I'm gonna swing underneath it with my right hand. So my lower body's moving back and through. Lower body's going, I'm using that good, what's called internal hip rotation. Now this is gonna lead to the next part and that's controlling your finish and maintaining your balance while you finish. I see so many of my older clients, they get here, they swing so hard and they end up on their back foot or they fall backwards. That's what we do not wanna do. That's a huge, huge power loss. So we want to make sure that we're over on that left side. By doing this, feeling like I'm over on the left side, I can actually pick up my right toe if I had to, and I'm over there. My left hip is a little bit higher than my right. My right thigh is pushing into my left, and my shoulders are on the same plane, plane as my lower body. So we got bigger backswing, lower body is leading the downswing, we're on a good angle here. Next, we're gonna control the finish and get onto that left side without falling on our faces. All right, so we're almost done. Now we're over on our left side. Now, what happens is my biggest saying that I always say is you can only swing as fast as what you can slow down, and that's putting on the brakes. So if you know you're so tight and you have no balance on your left side and you, can't get, and you have to stop right here, and you do one of these and these Arnold Palmer on Arnold Palmer moves. So if you if you know that, like you can get over here and you, but you have to slow down because you don't have that mobility or, or balance or strength over there to, to slow the club down. So subconsciously, you're going to start slowing it down back here because you know, once I get here, I got to stop it. So there is zero chance of you accelerating your club through the ball. And that's what it takes to increase your club head speed. You have to be able to increase the club head speed as it's going through the ball. In order to do that, you have to have a big high finish over on your left side, good balance. So let's get you there. So what we're gonna do, first exercise, you're gonna stand on your left leg, set your right toe down. You're gonna make sure you have that stability in that left side. So that's the glute. That's the butt cheek on the left. We're gonna take the club, stand on your left leg, weights in your heel, feel like you would if you got to the finish side. So you're gonna turn that hip a little bit and then we're just gonna go turn. Turn as far as you can this way do about 10 of those, making sure you get that weight into that glute on the left side. If you can, if you're really good, you may not even need to do this, but if you're really good, you can raise that leg up and turn into that side and try and get a full shoulder turn. And then last thing is you need these arms to be able to get up here and over. So we're going to take the driver. We're just going to flip it just like this. So we got right hands under, left hands on top flip it over, get into your good posture, and then turn as far as you can so you're pushing up with this hand and you're turning, trying to keep your right arm straight. <laughs> That's a tough one. And you can get all the way over there and just practice. Hold it. The other thing I tell 
Some of my clients, it's really tough for them. They, can't, they get to here and they're falling over. What I want you to do is just hold your finish for five seconds. If you go to any junior camp, a bunch of kids, little kids, five-year-olds, that's what they're doing. They're working on their tippy-toe finish. They're holding it for five seconds. You can go back to that because you need to learn to get way over here. Everybody wants this big backswing, which I told you is important, but if I had to choose one, it'd be to get better balance, stability, and strength on the left side. So that is the most important thing. Use your lower body, get over to your left side, lead side, and then hold that finish, get to the top as far as you can, and that is gonna get you more club head speed. All right, quick review. We got a bigger backswing by doing the kneeling exercises, by turning as hard as you can, trying to get a little bit more thoracic spine, doing the stork turns, remember this one? Um, and then we go downswing. So we're doing, we're doing this exercise where you're, you're creating separation between your upper body and your lower body, and you're getting your hips up on this level, and then we're getting all the way through to our finish side. Um, don't forget this exercise here where you're coming under. I like to say like you're pitching a rock. I don't want to sound like a swing instructor because I really enjoy my job as a golf fitness instructor, but a lot of that stuff intertwines. So if it does sound like a swing instructor, make sure you consult with them too if you're trying to hit it farther. Make sure this stuff's all good for you. Next thing is trying to get over to your left side. Get over there as far as you can. We got that exercise that you're standing on one leg and you're rotating or you're setting that, ro that foot down here and rotating as far as you can to your left. And then last thing, you're flipping the club over, palm up here, here, and then as far as you can, hold your finish five seconds and I guarantee you're gonna pick up a few miles per hour. Check that out.